having a good year, but could use a few more up space hits as this one's driven into right field. That ball's going back. It's still going. It's gone. A two-run home run on the first pitch to John Macon Smith. And the Quakers are up two to nothing. Yep. Correct. His first work after Tommy John surgery, which kept him out all of last year. This pitch ground up the middle through for a base hit. Peterson will score. And Charles Noble gets an RBI two-out single, putting the Quakers on top three to nothing. Ability, not their fault. You know, they get out of innings when they deserve to. This pitch fair into right field. That's going to get down for a hit. Rounding third is Phillips. Macon Smith gets the third. He's being waved home. There will be no throw as a triple for Kent Peterson. He dives in safely. Quakers up five to nothing. That's right. That pitch is called strike three, and you just said it. Clark gets another strikeout. In the second game in that doubleheader, he really came to play. And That's a fair ball down the right field line. He hustles around first base. He's going hard into third. There will be a play. He slides in safe. A leadoff triple for Corey Wallace up from sight, but good heads up play all the way around as this ball's flared into right field still going back and making the catch on the run in right Wallace will tag he'll score and the Quakers are up six to nothing and it's coming up to bat is going to be Taylor Davis for the Cougars and Davis cranks one way back to right center field going to the warning track making the catch on the wall what an amazing play by Ingles bouncing off the wall and saving what could have easily been an in-the-park in the home run. Quakers, they have two in scoring position, nobody out, and they should definitely get a run or two out of this. And that one smashed deep to right field. I feel like it might trickle foul, and they're going to call that a home run. Couldn't quite tell if that was going to be on the right or left side of the right field foul flag, but it goes up for another three-run homer. For the Quakers, a good hit there by Wallace, bringing this lead now 9-0. to zero. We saw Hodges and Coates go and talk to each other there on the mound. This pitch wide, fair into left field. Coming around to score is Noble. Slate picks up his first hit of the game. And it looks like there might be a hole in the net down there right behind home plate. And that one almost fouled right there as that'll be a quick strikeout. Scored his first run as a Quaker as well. Play for the 2 2. Swung out of miss. Strike three. So two up, two strikeouts here for Morrison. Lead for the Quakers and potentially bring home a victory. That pitch was. Looks like it hit him, though. Seemed like he was making a cut. Could have easily been a strikeout swigged. And that, are they going to call that? Looks like it might be called out a foul at least. Or that's going to be a strikeout there. But you got it. So a good call there by the umpire is Jason Carter was swigged on the pitch, and that's how he got hit. So strikeout because of the swig. Kind of a little bit of awkwardness to end the game. <laughs>